Good evening. I'm Dennis Beatty. I served for over 32 years in the United States Air Force and recently retired as a Brigadier General. I'm currently a pilot with American Airlines, and while I love to fly, my passion is my son Ryan, who is that outstanding young man that you just saw in that video that had a stroke at the age of 20. Now, my family has been blessed to work closely with the clinicians and researchers at the Shirley Ryan Ability Lab, both as an inpatient as well as an outpatient. And I have to tell you that without their dedication and passion, my son would not be where he is today. And I'm very excited to say, which is about to graduate from college with a computer science degree and a 3.9 GPA. Just absolutely amazed. But my family's journey has not been an easy one. And unfortunately, it's also not a unique situation. So many men and women throughout the United States suffer from a stroke every year and then have to live with those long-term devastating effects. But with continued improvement on care as well as research, there is hope on the horizon. So for tonight, let's take a look at some of that hope with a couple of the doctors in the back. Thank you. Tonight, I'm thrilled to be here with Dr. Roth and Dr. Jay Raman from the Shirley Ryan Ability Lab. And they're gonna provide a little insight for us on the future of stroke therapy. So Dr. Roth, let's start with you. So it's my understanding you've been part of Shirley Ryan Ability Lab for over 30 years. So I can only imagine the progress that you've seen from a, a stroke patient to uh, in the beginning until 30 years later and how much that's progressed. Can you tell us a little bit about that progression and the quality of life improvements? Well, there's been really dramatic changes in uh, stroke rehabilitation over the 30 plus years that I've uh, been in practice. I started in the late 1980s, early 1990s, and the philosophy in stroke rehabilitation was much slower, and the thinking right now is that that was actually wrong, that the concept here is to push patients much harder. We have what we call high intensity training for patients. Another very important change has been the uh, implementation of more uh, technology. It's fantastic. So speaking of technology, Dr. Jay Raman, it's my understanding with collaboration with Dr. Roth and others at the Shirley Ryan Ability Lab that you're working on something basically called spinal stimulation therapy. And I believe a little bit later we're going to see Catherine on the treadmill demonstrating that therapy. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Oh, absolutely. So as stroke is an injury to the brain, and traditionally our focus has always been, can we fix that? But as you know, if you take any activities of daily living, let's say walking, it's not just the brain which plays a big part in it. The brain controls a lot of it, but then the signal comes down to your spinal cord and from the spinal cord to your muscles. Instead of focusing only on the brain, which for the past two decades, that's what people have been focusing on, we're taking a, a leaf out of the book out of spinal cord injury research and we're trying to focus on can we activate the spinal cord, which also plays a big role in walking, to get people to get better. So it's my understanding that spinal stimulation is, is not new, but is it relatively new for stroke therapy? Yes, spinal stimulation is not new. It's existed in two forms in, for people with spinal cord injury. One is an implanted, it's called epidural stimulation, where you surgically implant a stimulator into your spinal cord and stimulate it. And the other is transcutaneous stimulation, which is outside your body. You can put electrodes and stimulate it. Now, is it uh, true that the Shirley Ryan Ability Lab is the only organization that's doing this kind of treatment? So I think we are the first in the world to use transcutaneous spinal stimulation in individuals with stroke. Well, and that's amazing really for the audience. I would say that the reason why I drove 1,200 miles to bring my son to this facility is because of that kind of technology and that leading edge that you see here at Shirley Ryan Ability Lab. So Dr. Roth, uh, help me understand, is there a particular time period where this therapy is really, really beneficial for stroke patients? Well, the traditional thinking has been that uh, earlier is better, that uh, most of the improvement takes place early on. In fact, what we've seen and what virtually everybody who works at the Shirley Ryan Ability Lab has experienced is that there's always opportunity for people to continue to improve long beyond that early stage. So Dr. Jay Raman, um, one of the things that I read was that your study received a perfect score from the NIH grant review panel. So for somebody that's never gotten a perfect score in anything, can you tell us a little bit about that and what that means? We did some early research on this and we found this to be very therapeutically beneficial to our participants with stroke. 
we thought we should apply it to federal grant funding. Because in order to do such research, it takes a lot of work and time and personnel. And so when we applied to the NIH, we got a perfect score, which basically means two things, that we have a great team with Dr. Rod, Dr. Lieber, and other players. But the perfect score also means that the scientific community, which traditionally reviews it without bias, thought that this science has a lot of value to improve lives of people with stroke. Uh, so can we take a, a look right now at Catherine on the treadmill receiving this therapy? Absolutely, I'd love to show you okay, that. Okay, great, let's go do that. Thank you so much. Please. So Dr. Jay Raman, it's my understanding that Catherine is a stroke survivor and she's demonstrating the spinal therapy right now. Can you tell us what we're seeing? Catherine's been kind enough to let us observe her training session. And if you see, the electrodes are coming from her back and Ali, our physical therapist, is holding onto the device and it's stimulating her as she's walking and she's walking on a treadmill at a comfortable pace right now. And if you look at the TV screen, she's got a little few sensors on her body. What we're teaching her is to walk in a better symmetrical manner. We want her to time her steps so she doesn't stumble more and she's more balanced. And now that she already can walk, the next step is to get her to walk as normally as she would have walked prior to her stroke. And so we're tuning the stimulator in real time to get her the best stimulation parameters, which will help her to walk. And the sensors give her feedback and us as clinicians feedback to say, hey, this looks perfect or let's tune it a little more. So doctor, this has been absolutely amazing. The passion that I see from you and Dr. Roth doing this important work is so obvious. And on behalf of myself and my son Ryan and really all the other stroke survivors out there and their families, I can't thank you enough. It's because of this kind of research and my family's experience with the Shirley Ryan Ability Lab that we've decided to commit to a deeper relationship with this organization. So doctor, I hope to see you and Dr. Roth around in the future. Um, so thank you again for all that you're doing and thank you all. Good night.